Today we're making one of my favorite summertime side dishes and this one might just surprise you. I'm going to show you how to make grilled broccoli. We're going to serve it with a hot garlic honey. And if you haven't tried grilling broccoli before, this one's a game changer. Hi there, I'm Nikki Sizemore. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome back to my channel. So if you've watched here, you might know that in the summer, I love grilling. I put everything on our grill from appetizers to dessert. A few years ago, I tried grilling broccoli, instantly fell in love. The outside turns charred and crispy. The inside is tender, much like roasted broccoli, but you don't have any of the mess. So you could stop there and I'll show you how to do it, but we're gonna take it over the top and drizzle the broccoli with a chili and garlic infused honey that sweet, hot, garlicky honey is the perfect complement to that smoky, charred broccoli. If you feel inspired, don't forget to like and subscribe. Be sure to drop me a comment below. And as always, you can tag me on Instagram at From Scratch Fast. All right, let's dive in. The first thing we're going to do is prep that hot garlic honey. This is so simple. Put a quarter cup of honey into a small pot and add a sliced garlic clove and a slice. This is a red Fresno pepper. You could also go for a jalapeno pepper. And we're gonna just slice it and leave in the seeds and everything because we wanna give that honey a little kick. This honey, by the way, is also awesome over fried chicken. And then we'll slice up that garlic clove. I'm gonna prep the broccoli for the grill as well. So you'll need one bunch of broccoli, about a pound of broccoli. You can always double this, by the way, if you're feeding a big crowd for a barbecue or a party. And we're gonna cut this into two to three inch, I don't know what to call these, big florets. You want them big so that they don't fall through the grill grades. This stuff I will save for the compost. All we need to do is drizzle this with two tablespoons of any kind of neutral vegetable oil that you use or that you have at home. Season with some salt and pepper. Give this a toss. By the way, my grill is preheating over medium high heat. These are ready for the grill. Let's head back to the stove and finish off that hot garlic honey. Put the heat onto medium and bring the honey to a simmer. And then once it reaches a simmer, reduce the heat to medium low and let it cook for two minutes. Next, add two tablespoons of white wine vinegar and let it cook just for a few seconds longer. That vinegar is going to offset the sweetness and provide tons of brightness. All right, remove this from the heat and let it cool slightly. My grill is preheated to medium high heat, aim for about 500 degrees, and then arrange the broccoli over the grill grates. And I'm just arranging them crosswise so they don't fall through. All right, cover this and let it cook for about five to seven minutes or until it's caramelized on the bottom. Oh yeah, that's what you're looking for, that nice char. That's gonna give the broccoli so much flavor. Close the lid and cook for four to six minutes longer. Don't be afraid of this char, I promise you. It's gonna taste absolutely delicious. Let's take this in. All right, now to finish this off, we're gonna drizzle this with that honey and with all of those peppers and garlic, which are now candied in that honey. And then sprinkle it with some coarse sea salt, some flaky sea salt. And that, my friends, is my favorite way to serve broccoli. All right, let's give it a taste. I wanna get one of those candied chilies in there. Mm. Oh my God. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> that honey has so much flavor with the garlic and the chili. My eyes watering a little bit. I hope this becomes a staple at your summertime or anytime barbecues. I'm Nikki Sizemore. This is From Scratch Fast. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.